Hello and welcome to Fire Emblem Sacred Stones. I've been wanting to play some of the classic Fire Emblem games, some of the first ones that ever started on her, and I believe this is the second one. So I already have some done from probably back when I first got this. But I'm gonna hit new game. And we're gonna go easy. Just because I wanna get through this fairly quickly, not have any major roadblocks of I'm continually stuck at one level so that way it, we can actually get through this without any big issue okay so I'm gonna go in this bottom yes that's fine okay and the despair made her an appeal to the heavens and from the blinding light came home. <laughs> These five warriors treasures held the power to dispel evil. The hero Grotto and his warriors used sacred stones to combat evil darkness. They defeated the demon king. Oh good, we're gonna read them down. With the darkness in prison, peace returned to the Magvel. But this peace would not last, as with the majority of Fire Emblem pieces. I'm not going to read through all this because it's really heavy exposition stuff. So, you have the Kingdom of Rhinus, and I'm probably pronouncing these all wrong, ruled by Fado. And the Kingdom of Freela, ruled by Hayden. The kingdom of Jehana, ruled by Is Ismer. And the Thera Theocracy, I think I'm pronouncing that right, of Ralston, ruled by Manso. And lastly, the Grotto Empire, ruled by Vigard. Basically, the sacred stones are split between the three, and they're joined by the Emerging Magical Republic of Carcina. In these times of peace, tales of past come. They have drifted into legend, and the memories of ancient dark aren't so little bit evaporated. Eight years, eight oh three. Unexpected atrocity. The royal empire of Largus has invaded the kingdom of Rhinus. Of course. And here's one of our main characters, Prince Ephraim, who is now missing. So it's been breached. Emperor Irvigar's forces are within the castle walls. The garrison has fallen. We've lost contact with Prince Ephraim, and can expect no aid from his men. So 
So they are going to surrender. And there's Erika, our other main character. And I'm gonna bet everything that on that bracelet is a sacred stone of their empire. That's why I asked her if she had it. I have played these games before. I remember almost nothing about them. Even from the bit I played before. And I think I went out to chapter 5 on that one. He doesn't need to forgive you, you're doing exactly what he wanted, Seth. He will probably be happier for it. General Seth, France! Run ahead and bring word part of our coming to Freyla. Fre yeah, Freyla. A single writer has better odds of passing unseen by Grado's men. Convey to the throne what has happened here and petition for reinforcements. Understood. It says, Annika must quickly behind me. You there with the girl. Tell me, would that be the wayward princess of Ryan? I'm never gonna pronounce that saying ever. Oh, must be a lucky day. You're a dead man. The wench goes with me. It's okay. I'm pretty sure this is only a little weird just because of how they were positioned on the field, but I'm pretty sure in this game it's still your side is always on the right. And the enemy always appears on the left when they get into these battle screens. It's just a little weird because they were completely the opposite of this on the actual positioning. Definitely doesn't stay this way in later games, but. Bravo, Seth. Neither this far, we surely earned a moment's rest. Please forgive me for having you so briskly earlier. Neither even I'm still alive to have my gratitude. And whoever that man wants from this clearly after me. It's my fault you assume such a crazy wound. Allow me to treat it. Dude, if she doesn't treat it, you may have more issues getting you all there. Ninety percent sure she's never written right anyone. But I am certain that she and her brother will read it. Because like I said, they're basically Yeah. Those two are the two lead characters that are the important ones. Her training begins with movement. Ah oh god, this is the only part I really, really hate. And I eventually I hope when Three Houses comes out, they have the option to just skip every tutorial. Uh, hey, 
Have you played these games before? Then just have any options of no tutorial needed. Before you even start up the game. Game, at least for classics. I know they're gonna have to do combat stuff, but at the same time, ah, durability. <sighs> I will say that was one nice part about the shadows. Echoes. What was it called? I'm literally looking at my shelf. And... Yeah, I can't read the undertone, but... I don't know that goes with all of them silica, where... We had... There was no weapon durability. Unless you upgraded to a higher level of weapons. But base weapons all never broke. So that's script, and you're never really going to get that much luck. Granted, yes, this is a weapon wheel of swords beat axe, axes beat lances, lances beat swords. Oh my god, come on! Yes, it's not complicated. As a grown older, hand holding in games has just become more irritating me. And I often skip over important tutorials because I'm sick of hand holding. And then have to backtrack and figure out what words I'm supposed to do, but... I'd rather need to look into the, through the help section for that kind of information than actually be... The lone theme for myself or the stuff I don't know and everything else is going to skip over it. Literally the same thing as before. It's just movement. You just want me to go to this specific spot. Because this is all scripted for the tutorial. Good that your head gets not first of all. Because one thing I'm gonna try as hard as I can to do is make it so she isn't a piece of glass. Because there is no training option, I was making missions. What I experienced again. Whatever battle goes over to the next, and there is no increasing it in any significant way. Okay, into escape. And this is still gonna probably be tutorial esque. Oh, Princess Kana. Where is Princess Kana from? Oh, she's the daughter of Kitty we are sending here to do that makes sense. Oh, 
boy. Yeah, mine says we have swords. Yeah, there you go. The relationship between the sword lance and the axes is the called the weapon triangle. I feel like you shouldn't tell him that. I really like actually no, maybe tell him that because he may keep you as ransom. If you tell him you're just some peasant girl, you're not worth keeping alive. Yeah, oh, she has a brother too. It's very weird. Please tell me you all healed in between now and your last battle. Okay, I can I get it. Erica is game over. She's actually the most important one to keep alive. Oh, I will. I don't think I mentioned this when I started this. I was thinking of playing these also with a no reset clause. AA if any of the characters quote unquote fall. Don't really die, they fall in battle. They'll still be around for story points, but for the most part, but you can't use them in the battle for any head. So say I end up getting Seth killed, who is currently the biggest badass. Because Erica's little tiny king. Okay, move her. You wanted me to move her and then you automatically place my first arrow. Okay. Visit houses, get tips, get items. It's basically that tutorial. And that tip was heal yourself. And if you stand on the little castles that I just highlighted, you'll automatically heal. From sitting on this. Okay, come on. Fraz is back and he brought back up. Good lord, how can you move that quickly? Ten bucks when I get control of him, he's not gonna move that fast. Oh my god. 